Howdy doody fellas, it is your host Super Poopy and we're unboxing something now. The lives don't get much traffic, so we're just gonna leave this up so it's all good. But yes, we have a box and we also have a cracked screen. Damn it, I did not think of that. Ah, look at that big shine. It's a stupid design of the Galaxy S bullshit. But whatever, it's ignorable. Anyway, so let's get this box open, shall we? Y'all ain't got any questions, feel free to drop them. I'll answer them when I'm done. Not the wrong way. Now it's not just World War II stuff we're unboxing. We got a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh shit, dude, that looks real deal. So if y'all missed the live stream, don't even worry. Wow. That's beautiful. Now these boots are a little too big, however, I have big feet, but not as big as this. Oh shit, dude. Let's get these laces. I can tell the laces are new though. Mountain boots. They're Swiss and they're post-war, unfortunately. And they're not in bad condition. Hello, Super I'm a fan of yours. I like your videos. You're a very funny guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Ian Kennedy. I would you. Yes, low boots. Unfortunately, these are not wartime, though. But I want to do Gebert's Jaeger, and it's really hard to find Gebert's Jaeger boots. So I'm gonna get Gators. Don't worry though, I'm gonna get World War II time Jack Boots reproductions. But uh, these are freaking awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Felt the growl. But wow, look at that. They're so new, I thought they'd be used and ugly. Like they looked aged, but oh damn. Wasn't expecting it to be that good. And honestly, I'd rock these on a regular day. But these are for Bigfoot people. These are size 12. I'm an 11, so they're going to be a little loose, but I wear wool socks, and it goes up a size when you wear wool socks. Dang, look at that. You could tear someone's face off with this if you freaking just go... Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, but they look stupid similar to the Gebert's Jaeger boots. But the Gebert's Jaeger boots, they have, like, some leather padding. And it connects to the bottom and it goes out here. But yeah, these are pretty similar. I wouldn't doubt it if like maybe late war they started bringing out their own boots. And uh, they probably look like this. But yeah, thanks man. Can't wait to try those on. Anyways, let's take a look at what else we got here. Uh, it's, oh, it's in the name of the package. STG44 Sling. And don't worry guys, I'll stay after to answer questions and chill out with you guys. But right now we're just looking at what's in this box. Good thing I didn't confuse it for one of my kinky packages. Finally, we don't have to carry that STG44. The damn thing is heavy. Uh, we'll find out how this works eventually, maybe at the end of the day. See that. Connects there. Very nice, very nice. In case you don't know what an STG44 is, this is it. This is an airsoft version though. Very beautiful rifle. The first modern assault rifle with a pistol grip. That's very important that you remember that. Now, let's see what else we got here. These, I believe, are my trousers. M43, because uh, I like the strings that they, uh, they tuck in real nice into the boot, so uh, let's get this open, shall we? These are really green though. I may have to age these a bit because they're really green. Uh, but no, nah, they should, I think they're still good. See there, the strings. They're good for tying around the foot and tucking it into the boot real good. 
But yeah, I'm gonna get jack boots eventually. Where did you order this stuff? Uh, from uh, what, what's it called? Oh yeah, Epic Militaria. Listen, Epic Militaria's gear is good. However, their camouflage sucks, so don't get their camouflage in. Their uniforms are, I don't really know. This just looks really green. However, I got, uh, okay, I'm gonna get, let you guys in on the secret, but uh, I'm getting some wools by Kelly's Militaria. But uh, these, these were on special, that's why I was like, yeah, just throw them in the fucking basket. And maybe I could use them for my old Dot 44s. Although, I may retire my Dot 44s because it's missing some shades of green, as you've heard before. But, uh, yeah. Um, uh, if you're getting a full-on uniform, I recommend you get from, uh, probably Kelly's Military or at the front. I don't know. Just depends. I, don't know. I made it in the in front of uh, Farb Fest uh, two times, so I wouldn't recommend you take advice from me. All right, <laughs> but uh, you know I'll advise you as best I can. If I can't, then I'll recommend you some of my friends that are really good in the hobby. I recommend SMW SM Wholesale. Yeah, I hear the camouflage for Epic Military is exponential quality. Kelly's is more preferable. Yeah, yeah. That's why a lot of people were telling me to get Kelly's military, but you know, there's always gonna be that person that no, this guy's the best, no, this guy's the best, no, this guy's the best. But um Kelly's military is definitely at top. Have you heard of Gavin Military? Yes, Gavin. I technically got scammed because Kelly's military sells what Gavin Military has, except for more expensive, so I'm a dumbass for that. But at least I'm getting a good uniform, but still, I could have gone from the original site than rather uh, pay 30 more bucks, uh, dollars for the same product. Although, I think the shipping evens it out, though. But, uh, yeah, check out these trousers. I just gotta, I'm gonna age them a bit. Because they do look more darker than usual. Um, these are just temporary trousers. They were only 30 bucks. I don't even think they have them anymore. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got a whole thing of wools coming in, uh, from Kelly's Militaria, and that's gonna be freaking awesome, you know. I'm in the defarbanization process, okay? Uh, your number one farb on the internet. <laughs> but don't worry, um, we are gonna get defarbed. However, um, uh, I, I'm not giving in to the fucking assholes that, like, they cuss you out. And then they tell you what's wrong with your uniform? Fuck those guys. I'm just doing it because, you know, I want to be accurate. Anyways, let's see. Uh, the chat keeps on disappearing. How am I supposed to look at the chat? Oh, there it is. Have you heard? I am not using Epic anymore. The shipping... <sighs> fucking... The shipping cost is bad. Yeah. <laughs> 40 bucks for this. Just three items. Your gear was messed up? My gear was never messed up, honestly. All the gear I have is from Epic Military, and it's pretty all right. Was that antique shopping World War II loadout cool? It was, but it was stupid overpriced. And I posted a picture of the Luftschutz helmet, and it got taken down because Swastik is defend me. But yeah, freaking awesome. I got these wool trousers. They look like they're good quality. But they do look a little, like the color does look a little off. So uh, yeah, I recommend you get Kelly's Militaria or at the front. These, these I just got them because they were like, um, they were, um, uh, only 30 bucks, you know. Why not? You just throw them in there. But originally, I was just gonna get this the STG 44 sling and these gorgeous ass boots. Look at these. I'll rock these on a regular day. These are working boots. Holy shit, that's steel toe. That is steel toe. That is a powerful boot right there. They ain't the prettiest, but they're tough and rugged. It's like uh, the Dodge Ram of boots. Anyways, I missed the question. It looked very long though. Let's see. I'm planning on pulling together a 1942 here impression. 
on the Eastern Front. I'm not a reenactor, just want to do it like you are super poopy just for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, man. Like, I want to be historically accurate, keep it on point, but uh, I don't really want to reenact. I'll go to events, but not reenactments. There's a huge difference, especially not reenactments with SS guys, because a lot of SS reenactors are kind of like assholes. And, um, like, the here guys are so super chill and they're so nice. And, like, if you fuck up, like, they'll let you know respectfully that you messed up, that you need to fix this, you need to do that. And the SS guys, they cuss you out. They don't even tell you what's wrong with your uniform. You're like, what? And then they tell you after, like, five more minutes of cussing. I don't like SS reenactors. Yeah, here is way cooler. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if you want to do SS, go for it, it is awesome, but, you know, if you want to get into SS reenacting, just letting you know, you're going to bump into a lot of assholes, um, especially the Totenkopf guys, a lot of the Totenkopf, uh, tend to be, like, real bullies, although the SS have freaking awesome camouflage, that's about it, my canteen, let's see, I win. I went to the antique shop and bought a Nazi official's pin. Dude, awesome. If it's original, double awesome. My canteen and cover didn't fit together. Sent me the wrong helmet, I think. And now I have three German helmets. I don't need a shit, man. Sell them online. Sell, sell them online. Dang. That's bad service. I just, I, I guess I just got lucky. SS overrated as heck. Yes, a lot of people do SS. The SS outnumber the here when it comes to reenacting. Well, here is superior in reenacting. Uh, I think it seems like it, yeah. Because sometimes I see a lot of SS guys and they have really smudgy camouflage, which I have no, no right to say because my dot forty-fours are very shitty. I still use them in black and white pictures so people won't notice that shades of green are missing. But, uh, yeah, it's whatever. Like me, I'm just trying to entertain and uh, have fun with it, you know. And also historically recreate uh, specific pictures because, you know, I think that's cool. You're bringing history to life. And uh, lately, oof, we've been very under attack, the history community online. Uh, with not just reenactors, um, but uh, historical pages. It's getting bad. Let's see. I'm keeping one helmet and going... Oh, going to shoot it up and keep it on the shelf. Yeah, age it. Shoot it up and uh, age it. And that'd be awesome. Like, keep it rusty and then tell some dumbass it's original. And they'll be like, whoa, that's crazy. Another guy watched... <sighs> Another guy I watched cusses you out. And sarcastic you are so much better. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I'm touched. Yeah, a lot of people... A lot of SS guys have sticks up their asses and it just... Like, I used to want to reenact and I'm like, wow, these guys are a bunch of fucking assholes. Like, don't get me wrong, reenacting is really cool and I'm sure it's fun, but... It's just people like those that really ruin it. I do this just for fun like you, Super Poopy. Go for it, Super Poopy's the best. Alright, thanks. Thanks. Work the shaft. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't be kissing my ass now. You gotta be independent. Strong, independent woman. Single mother. I don't know what is the deal with this whole I'm a single mother and empowered thing. Like, no, you just left your husband. Cause, you know what, I'm going off topic. Let's, let's get off this whole freaking topic about feminism. I, I just... I, I go to college in California, and it's very, very lefty. Anyways, now that we're just here, might as well find out how this works. Uh, we already know what's in the box. Let me see. I also got a belt coming in. Uh, my dumbass forgot to order it, or order it with this package, so I ordered it 12 hours later. So, yeah. Kelly's military uh, uh, takes forever to get here, though. Because, uh, I don't know where they make their uniforms. They say they make them in, uh, in China, apparently. So when I found that out, I was like, yikes. But, uh, you know, some Chinese reproductions can be good. 
and the uh, Kelly's is American, but they buy it from China. I think like they just have the patent in China, but the company's American. I don't know how it works, but yeah, that's what I saw. So still a little worried. Oh my God, these are the ones I need for the gators. Yeah, because I'm also making uh, um, gators, homemade gators, <laughs> or actually my mom is, because she, she, um, she's good at sewing. Yeah, I still live in this house, okay? I'm not paying for a dorm. It's just a half an hour drive to my college. Can you please focus on me, sir? Anyways, let's find out how this works. I don't know if you guys want to take a closer look at these trousers. The color does seem off, and it almost looks like post-war, but, uh, and then, oof, look at these cuts. Oh, that's ugly. I'm going to get called out for that. Look at that. Look at those lazy cuts. Ugh. You got to learn the hard way, I guess. But, uh, whatever. I mean, the tunic is going to cover them up, right? <laughs> God. There's going to be reenactors out there to talking about what a piece of shit I am for buying these trousers by the way I am babysitting so I may have to cut this live stream short any second I got a ticking bomb over there so uh, yeah it's quite the pickle also we have a 1911 airsoft though all right so don't be thinking I'm waving a live gun around when there's a baby over there all right also, trigger discipline even though it's an airsoft. For the Fuhrer 2020. Nah, I don't know. Should I run for president? The SG44 sling was very weird to put on. It is? I'm not a reenactor and I even know those cuts are awful. Yeah, they are awful. Did you see them? They're disgusting. But hey, only 30 bucks, like honestly, like when my Kelly stuff arrives, I'm just going to use that for like regular winter wear, not even for reenacting. I just, you know, I like wool trousers. I have post-war ones. Bang, bang, stick. LMFAO, I'm going to watch you try to put it on. Oh, shit. All right. Apparently it's tough. Uh, you know, I got my phone there and usually with my phone... I uh, watch the tutorials, but uh, I'm live streaming, so that's going to be a pickle. Also, sorry for not uploading as much as you know. I've been going to college, though um, I have like a four-day week, and I only go to college like four times a week. So, uh, yeah, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, two times. I'm doing All right, yeah, yeah. It's just that, you know, I like having it spaced out. A lot of people, um, already I don't know what to do. Already. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, maybe I should just skip to the boot part and do the laces. But, um, there are these Gebertsjäger gaiters I want to make. And these are the exact same hooks I need. These. And it's crazy because I'm like, we've been looking for them for quite a while. Can't you get the STG-44s that are in 2762? My dude, this is an airsoft gun. However, I do plan on buying my first gun and making a YouTube video. I already have my firearms uh, certificate. So before September, I can buy a firearm. But there's this new California law where you have to get a, a new California ID. And what that does, it differentiates uh, illegal immigrants from legal immigrants. If that makes sense. And I'm legal, okay? Yo tengo mi green card. Yo soy legal. No llamas a la migra. All right. Do, 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 do. The buttstock was easy. Home FAO, I'm going to watch you try to put that. College sucks, especially in California. I feel sorry for you, poopy. Definitely. But I tell you what, there's a lot of girls out there wearing really tight pants. And it's a nice view. Um, but the front was kind of weird. Apparently some people use the K98 sling and have noticed it in original pictures. I wouldn't doubt it. They all look like the same design. My school took us to see the LST325 
That's right. It was used in D-Day. What is the LST-325? Is that a military vehicle? LMF, LMAO. Yeah, dude, because, like, honestly, as soon as I graduated high school, I went straight to working, had a good social life. Can you focus on me, cunt? I had a good social life, had a good going, then I got laid off, and then I went full-on anti-social. I didn't know how college worked, and I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? How do I become a student? So, yeah, that lasted about three months, and, uh, yeah, so we went back to college, and, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, there was this weird chola girl I met. Oh, no. The darn TV stopped. Give me a second, guys. Stupid TV. I'll be back. Give me a second. I'm just right here. Don't you leave. You have to do it. Oh my god, guys. I am a top show host, but I'm also gay. How fascinating. God, there's so many of those these days. Not that I'm anti-gay, okay? I, I, I'm I, very pro-gay, okay? I fought for gay rights. But it's just like... Is being gay... Is being gay or is it like a style, you know? Like... I'm not anti-gay, but it seems like they're using gay as a style rather than, I'm gay. I'm like, hey, I understand you're gay. Just don't rub it in my face, man. Anyways. And plus, it's a kid's show. Why are we getting ads for talk show hosts on a kid's show? I got kids to take care of. Let's see. LMIO landing ship tank. Cool. Oh, wait. Let's not put my finger there because then it ruins the focus. I'm debating on maybe getting into airsoft. I've seen some pretty cool World War One, World War Two impressions. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you make, there's actually, actually, um, historic airsoft groups are really cool. At least the ones I know. They're really respectful, really cool guys. Uh, they're not like SS reenactors. Notice how I say SS reenactors specifically because a lot of them have sticks up their ass. And a lot of them are very good people also, you know. I've talked to one. I'm not going to mention his name, um, but uh, he's helped me a lot. Unfortunately, we have disagreements on some things, but he's a really respectful, educated guy. But I'm not going to say his name. However, he has helped my impression a lot. But, you know, I refuse to work with him because we have disagreements when it comes to uh, German uniforms. Not historically, but... Uh, like the limits of where to make entertainment or where not to, you know, uh, I don't know, it's complicated. Well, now that's gone, hee <laughs> hee. What do you plan to do once you finish college? If it's not much of a... No, I'll tell you. Gay, gay, LMAO, big gay, gay, all these gays. It's 2018, everyone, be gay. Hey, hey, during Gay Pride Month, it is illegal to be straight. You best be sucking dick by the end of the day, son. That's the law. Anyways, what am I doing after college? Um, I guess I'm trying to be a historian, honestly. I'm just, I don't know, I just got really into it. Um, however, deep down, I do want to be a lazy YouTuber and vlog in LA and then yell out, Good morning to the best family on YouTube. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. But yeah, mainly, no, 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 okay, I, uh, okay, yes, I'll be, I'll be truthful with you guys, I do want to be a lazy YouTuber doing historic videos slash entertaining, however, um, my just in case path is college, um, but yeah, I want to become a historian and work for like, uh, maybe a museum, maybe even give tours. I want to pull off something like Indy Nidell, but with World War II and with my own style. So yeah, Indy Nidell is a huge inspiration for me, but obviously I'm more into World War II, but I would love to learn about World War I also. And there are a few other wars such as Gulf War, uh, in case you guys have seen my, um, 
My Gulf War impression, I derped out. Sorry, I have brain cancer and sometimes it doesn't function too well. <coughs> Let's look at these comments. Ah, I missed you. I missed you too. Please identify yourself. Because the thing is, where's Let's Do Barbarossa again? I don't know, he disappeared. He just disappeared. Right here, boy. Oh yeah, I'm subscribed to you. Taking a break. All right, for sure. Hopefully you didn't delete your account because I've seen um people do, um it's like their accounts disappear. And I don't know how they do that, but you know, if I knew how to do that, then I would take breaks because it gets annoying having your account shadow banned all the time. So, you know, taking a break like that would be cool. Let's see. Uh I'm going I'm your host, Super Poopy, here today. I bought an M43 trousers with awful cut. Yes, awful cut. For the guys that just got here, I'll show you in a bit. Brain cancer, LMAO. No, I don't have brain cancer. Okay. You know what? I feel kind of fucked up. Like, I know, I know, um, I didn't always agree with, uh, with, uh, John McCain, but he recently died of brain cancer, so I'm like, I think about that joke now, and I'm like, oh shit. Let's not go there. Yee, I disabled it. So I can come back and re-enable it. Huh, oh, that's interesting. I don't know how that works. But yeah, in case you missed it, look at these horrible cuts on this M43. Look at that, fucking lazy. If this were homemade from me, it'd be a good job. Like, look at these. I just made these at home. But no, this is from an actual company. And look at these shitty cuts. Jesus Christ. Look at these. This was done by Zizzers. Look at this. This is a joke. Oh my god. It gets worse and worse the more you look. Yeah. These are some shitty cuts, dude. But anyways, I already gave up on this. This damn thing takes forever to tie up. I didn't even try and already like... Ugh. Ah, shit. Yeah, I gotta look up the tutorial, and obviously I got you guys on live. I'm also babysitting, so I may have to cut this any second. So as soon as he goes doo-doo in the diaper, I gotta change it. And plus, I'm new to changing diapers, and it's just the worst thing ever. Uh, it it made... I, I finally made my decision. I just, you know, I don't want to have kids, okay? Plus, who would want to have kids with me? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Hopefully, there's... The, the right broad for me is out there and one day will smash with protection. Let's get some water. Ah, it just sucks my belt didn't arrive because it was supposed to be within this bundle on the um, Epic Military gear is good. It's just their, their uniforms suck. You just saw those cuts. But don't worry, we're not reenacting, so we won't get an SS guy sticking his fist up my ass telling me freaking Don't worry kids. Don't worry kids, it's not worth it. I'm today's society. Today's society poopy. Say what now? You announcing something to the kids? It's okay, I'm a poopy. Not when you have salmonella. It, it ain't gonna look so good. Anyways, I don't know if you guys want to look at other stuff. If I should just show you stuff. I'm, I'm just like, hey, it's something to do. I got this knife from a friend. It's not military. It's just whatever. I don't know if you guys want to see this. No, do not have kids, poopy. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm gonna be real with you guys, okay? I, I used to, um... In high school, I used to hang out with a lot of women. And one thing I learned about large groups of women is that they're like tectonic plates. Any second, they're just going to smash on each other and destroy everything. Okay? Fem women's, as you say, Ian K. <laughs> um, it's just a stable relationship. Okay? At first, I thought it was fun. And, you know, I had a friend that, like, she used to wear really low shirts. Plus, I have a pterygium in my eye, so I'm required to wear sunglasses. And you could stare at tits all day, man. And they won't even notice. Okay, I'm going off a bit, but no. Basically, you know, I love them. They were really good friends. 
And um, eventually they were like, oh my god, you're dating this, my ex? Like, what are you, a piece of shit? Oh my god, I don't want to talk to you. And then I was like trying to fix the situation. And then she was like, why are you talking to her? You're not supposed to be talking to her. She's a fucking bitch. She's dating my ex. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. And ever since that, like, I don't know. I'm like, ah. Women are weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, if I could pull it off, I want to live a life like Dan Bilzerian and have a whole lot of bitches. Okay. Nothing, no, no wife, I don't care. I want to live like the Playboy Bunny old guy, what's his name? Or whatever. It, 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 that's the good shit right there, okay? No commitment, okay? Um, I don't know, what's better? True love or a lot of hoes? But the thing is, true love comes with a price. It's going to come with a financial price. You gotta take him out on dates, you gotta buy him presents, you gotta take him there and here. And while if you're don't if you don't have a girlfriend, just focus on yourself, yeah, you're gonna be fucking depressed for a long time, but you'll have more time to focus on yourself. And to avoid depression, you gotta keep your mind distracted. Why the fuck you think I'm into this whole history thing and buy all this cool shit and reenact and hang out with my homies, play video games, and go to college? Cause I have crippling depression. Anyways, I kind of just went off. Do you guys like my life advice? Am I? I'm probably better at fuzzy tubes than this. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my whole take on on marriage. Uh, bitches over wives. Hold on, bitches. If you're a woman, go for it. Uh, if you if you're a woman. And, and you take my advice, go for it, alright? You want a lot of man hoes, and you want your big ass mansion, be the female version of a um, damn Bilzerian, go for it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of ironic, though, because if you're, like, you're attracted to a woman, but she said she's had more than, like, five sexual partners, you're like, oh, I don't want to go there. But then you talk about it like, hey, man, I want a whole lot of bitches, and it's like, you ever thought about that? That's a contradicting within myself. Anyways, let's read some comments. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> STG44 from the heart. <laughs> Respect women's hoes. Yeah, hoes. <laughs> Alright, um, true love isn't worth it anymore. It's not. It's so overpriced. What video games you play, my dude? Battlefield 1? Um, I'm not gonna be playing in a while because Battlefield 5 sucks. Baby, it's que paso. Baby speaking gibberish. I gotta eat, man. I'll go, come back to you, your life. If you're still here later, my guy. Alright, see ya, man. I might be here for an hour or two. Like, I don't know. It just, it's whatever. Honestly, I'm having fun right now. But, um, yeah, you know. Something I do like to do is give life advice, even though it's not the best, and it'll probably end, you'll end up being homeless or some shit. Uh, yeah. uh, I am a budget version of Ty Lopez that's really into World War II stuff. Ah, pains. I should let the dog in. I'm gonna let the dog in for a bit so he can chill here. Poor bastards outside in like 80 degree weather. Um, that's not even all that hot, but, you know, he's a good dog, and he deserves to chill out inside of here. Uh, plus, he barks at strangers, so if someone breaks into the house, that is, uh, we got a fat sausage dog that'll nibble your ankles, and then you'll kick him, and he'll probably run away, and that's about all the security I have. However, we still have the Carcano rifle, so I'm going to bring that out in a bit. Sausage. Unknown soldier. See ya, man. Were you the dude that's leaving, or are you another dude that's leaving? World War II train. Trains the and tobacco-related items. Tobacco-related items? I don't know. I could bring out some items here and, like, review them, because I'm, like, 
I don't know. It's just three items. I don't even know why I did a live stream. At the end, you guys are getting more life advice than you are learning about these items. However, I am still fascinated by these gorgeous boots. And also, do you guys know where I could get some of these hooks? You see them? I need some of these hooks for Gebert's Jaeger um, uh, gators. I need the ones that... They kind of look like American gators, but they're German. And they're used by the SS Gebert's Jaeger. And uh, that's what's going to cover this boot and prevent people from noticing that it's a Swiss post-war boot. These are from the 1950s, so they're very similar to World War II boots. However, like I said, there's a leather padding here that covers this part of the boot and, uh, you know, makes it a Gebert's Jaeger SS boot. However, these could be easily modded, no problem. Although I'm considering removing these and then edit, like fixing these boots up so they could um, look like regular Gebert's Jaeger. Uh, hello, boots. Uh, they have some stampings there. I'll post some of those pictures on Instagram. Anyways, y'all got more questions? Y'all want to talk more about Pussy or uh, World War II or 1911? Or we can end it all right now and end the pain. Okay? Because, like, you know, when you go through years of depression, you begin to numb in because you adapt. You learn to survive and, you know, you learn to take the pain and consume the pain. And then once you feel nothing, you also don't feel the good things, as in love, compassion. You don't feel none of that. So life becomes meaningless. However, you have absolutely no fear of death because I'm going off now anyways um but yeah all right I just don't like those people that are that are depressed because it's trendy I freaking hate those people like they're like Jimmy just broke up with me I think I want to kill myself and I just look at them with a straight face and say please do sir please and they don't you know why because they're only depressed because it's trendy they're not even depressed they're pretending to be depressed ah oh, my nose let's look at some more comments we've already been here for like 40 minutes put them on ah the boots uh do a caveman <laughs> impression i'm not i'm not that hairy but I'm actually doing something similar. What about the 1944 Volks Grenadier impression? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. The SS uh, Volks Grenadiers are pretty cool looking. But, you know, you already know how I feel about SS reenactors. <laughs> Modern day trends are cancer. Yes, they are. Modern day trends are fucking stupid and ridiculous. Fucking kids. Did you see the post I made? I, I put on a... Uh, on, uh, my Instagram story, hey, Luftwaffles, that's what's up, but uh, you don't want to get diabetes now, but uh, yeah, you see this girl, she was like, taking a selfie, she wanted to notify you that she was getting new glasses, you know what she did, she took a selfie, sticking her ass out like that, like, like, okay, like, listen, you want to show off your ass, just go for it, but don't fucking like, 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 I'm gonna go out and get some glasses, flashes the ass at you and I'm like like don't get me wrong you have a nice ass I totally dig it but what exactly are you trying like what what, what are you trying to signal to me like is the main focus your ass or the message I don't understand I've seen it too many times yeah <laughs> I prefer here than Volks Grenadier well don't the here have their own Volks Grenadiers I prefer hear vo oh hear Volk screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that. It's just that I really love the SS smocks, but you know, uh, all the assholes in the SS community really killed it for me. So yeah, and it's crazy because this one guy that I was talking about not too long ago that I refused to work with, although he helped me a lot, and he's very well educated. His videos are great, but you know I can't mention his name. Um, you know, I ain't sucking his dick either, but, uh, you know, he helped me a lot. Unfortunately, we had major disagreements. Can you please focus on me? 
All right. So yeah, we have major disagreements. He didn't like me the I the idea of me wearing the SS officer's uniform for uh, entertainment and comedic purposes and historical recreations. And, like he just he wasn't having it. And I'm like, my dude, I paid nearly one thousand dollars for that officer's uniform. I'm gonna use it. <laughs> but uh, and plus, I'm not reenacting with that uniform. It's just an officer's uniform. But um, and also he was saying like. Like, you know, people die in these uniforms and, uh, you know, it's disrespectful to make fun of them and stuff. But the thing is, if you're just looking at the dark side and can make light of it, then eventually it just destroys you inside. And no one wants to be around you because you want to be serious all the time. Like, like, you're, like, if you don't think the Hot Shots movies are funny, then, like, come on, you're full of shit. Unless you legit don't think the Hot Shots movies aren't funny. I personally think they're great. If you guys want to check them out, they're really funny. It's like a World War II comedy and it's like a spy and shit. It's just, it's fantastic. Uh, there's Hot Shots 1 and Hot Shots 2. There's also one called Top Secret, which is a World War II parody also. But it's kind of funny because there's, there's a lot of like 70s reference in it. And, you know, if, if people were just like taking this whole thing up the ass like I get it there's a lot of respectful Wehrmacht troops a lot of them were drafted and I get it they should be respected and they should be honored like no one should be ashamed for fighting hard no matter what side you're on um but yeah I get that you know and I even poke phone no fun of like allied troops not just German and um you know a lot of veterans don't care in fact Look at Donnie, uh, Veteran TV. He makes fun of the Iraq war that he was in. He's a combat veteran, so, you know. Making fun of World War II, like, I, I, I just... I don't see the problem with it. Like, I'm not... Like, I have limits. Like, what's up, dude? I'm on life, so... I don't know. So I'm gonna get the cheesecake. Huh? I'm gonna get the cheesecake. No, I could cut it. I've been here for 40 minutes. I've just been bored. Do you want to get it right now? Oh wait, no, I'm babysitting. Yeah, I'm babysitting. <laughs> All right, guys, I might have to leave in a bit. Hey, did you see my boots? All right, guys, I'm gonna have to go in a bit. I was having fun, a little too much fun, but uh, I was home alone, so like I would just talk about whatever on these rants, especially because Bibbit doesn't speak English but I'm gonna head out plus it's too long like who's gonna want to watch this whole thing uh, I'm gonna leave it up so you guys could watch it again uh, honestly only 10 minutes of this video was World War II stuff the rest was just rants about trends and contradictions and and retarded stuff but uh, yeah I gotta go it was fun guys we should have more live streams. Let's answer some quick last second questions. Let's see. I'm just going to answer these questions and I'm out. Yeah, Poopy, I've seen it too many times. Yeah, damn, Poopy real giving us life advice. Shit, I should be like the next Fousey Tube except without the scamming and without offering money that I can't pay. <laughs> Poopy life advice, best advice. True, see ya, see ya, mate. All right, take care, y'all. I'm gonna wrap it up. I don't know how to wrap it up. Oh, this is weird. This is just awkward because I don't know how to wrap it up. Is it the exit? Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Okay. All right. See ya, man. Love y'all. Lo love all of y'all guys. They, there, whatever you your pronunciation is. Your, your gender. <laughs> <laughs>